What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. We have some packages to unbox, we have some updates on the WRX, and we may have some mods for the Civic. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. Since you guys are the absolute best, we are gonna start out with some unboxings. I have a few packages that you guys sent over to my PO box. We're gonna start off today's video with an unboxing from some stuff from you guys. Thank you, you're the best. So hopefully you left some notes in here. Let's go ahead and do a little mail unboxing. Package number one is from Lewis. Let's see what got us. First off, before we look at anything else, we do have a note here. So, Hello, Dustin. Congratulations on your message. Thank you, Lewis. This is awesome. All right, let's see. What did you send in here? Oh, nice. We got a Honda license plate. I think this needs to go on there. That's dope. Okay. Oh, sick. I drink coffee every morning, so this is definitely going in the cabinet. Thank you so much. That is freaking dope, dude. Next up, we have an Alpha Leaf package, but this is... Uh, I don't know who sent this. Let's open it and see if there's a note or anything. Nope. Dope, we have a summer shredding hoodie, it looks like. Let's open this thing. Oh, yeah. So if you're new to the videos and haven't seen, I did compete in summer shredding this summer and got first place in my class, which is pretty dope. So I don't know who sent this to me, but thank you very, very much. This is super, super awesome. And then last but not least, this one's actually pretty heavy. And this one is from David. So let's see what David sent out. I'm excited for this. Oh my God, no freaking way, dude. Okay, first of all, we have some awesome K-Motor engine stickers. This is super cool. And we have a note. So, hey Dustin, I've been a long time subscriber of yours. I'm really excited to see you picked up a Honda again. I'm sending you this valve cover and hope you install it one day and enjoy it. If you ever need anything powder coated or sandblasted, David, this is, this is fucking amazing. Oh my God. All right, let's see what this looks like. Holy shit. I am so stoked right now. You literally sent me a valve cover. This is the coolest thing ever. No way. This is the sickest thing ever. We are installing this today. Dude, this looks absolutely perfect. Wrinkle red has the Honda right here. This is gonna be an amazing addition for the Mugen SI. Mugen, yes, I said it correctly this time. Thank you for everybody for reminding me constantly. This is going on today. So that's all the packages that we have for today. If you guys are interested in sending something or sending like a letter or something like that, you can send it to the PO box address down below. Before we get started with this, I wanna give you guys a quick little update on the WRX. So, some actual good news for the WRX. While I was gone in Utah, Evan actually came to the shop and figured out the issue we were having with the coils sitting on top of the axle. So if you guys can check it out now, there's the coil right there, and then there's the axle, it's no longer resting. We can actually air the car down all the way and get a little bit lower. We still need to figure out that camber issue, but we're getting things moving with the air install. What I've gone ahead and done is we haven't done the height sensors yet, but one thing that I need to do before Evan and Mickey come back and help me install the height sensors is run the height sensor line. So I went ahead and routed the two rears, which are line three and four right here. And then what I'm gonna have to do is the two fronts, which are longer, as you can see, are line one and two. I have to retake off these panels, which is super annoying, but and run the two front lines all the way to the front, just like I did for the airlines. So we're making progress. I promise. I wish this could be a faster process for you guys, but once these lines are ran and the height sensors are on the car then we are in the home stretch one more full day of working on the air suspension and it'll finally be complete and drivable so just bear with me i'm trying to get as much as i can done let's go ahead and do these lines <laughs> Good news, both of the front height sensor lines are ran. Now, next thing up on this process is actually mounting up height sensors. Once Evan and Mickey are available for that, we're gonna go ahead and mount those up. Yeah. 
bracket is good to go. You guys can see it right there. A few minutes later, we officially have our height sensor installed. Well, not fully installed. We still have to tap it into the lower control arm. We just don't have the drill bit today, but the sensor itself is mounted. So the wire that I ran earlier plugs into this. So Evan's gonna plug that in. There we, go. there we go. Now we have a height sensor. Yep. So to test if our job works here, we are gonna go ahead and use a jack, lift up the car from the lower control arm and watch the arm do its job. So, cool. Good news for today, progress is being made. We are getting very, very close. Beckerman, what do you think? Like one more day? One more day. One we more got day. a wire, we gotta mount all the stuff in the back. But getting the right location for the height sensor is really important. Once you figure out one side, like that side's gonna take like a quarter of the time and kind of the same thing with the rear. So we're still dialing in the rear. We're getting there. Be patient. Yes. Soon enough, <laughs> this thing will be slammed on the ground. Yes, and we need it to be perfect too. Good Let's job today. To continue along with this video, I really want to get, get the new valve cover installed on the car. So I came over to our local Honda by the shop and grabbed a valve gasket as well as some, what do they call this? Some Honda Bond, which acts as like a sealant put on the edges of the valve cover gasket. So we are going to go ahead and get that sick red valve cover installed right now. So let's go ahead and head back to the shop. All right, we have made it back to the shop. I got started on taking everything off to gain access to the valve cover, so I got the boring stuff off. I got the shroud and like the little metal piece that goes underneath the shroud. Basically, this is just a bunch of bolts that I need to remove as well as the spark plugs in here. So I'm not gonna walk you guys through every single little bolt. Nobody's got time for that. So you guys are just gonna sit back, watch me remove this, and then put on this badass red one. Let's do it. We did it, stock valve cover is off. This thing is disgusting, but engine looks good. All right, so differences. Here's the stock one I just took out of the car, and then here is the insane new one. This piece is so nice, and it's gonna look perfect in the engine bay. Old and gross and dirty, new, nice, and red. This is so, so clean. All right, now basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down, see how it looks, and bolt everything back up. Okay, quick video intermission. We have big news. TJ just picked up his Supra, and I have to go to the shop and check it out, because it's going to be so dope. He literally just got it from the dealership, and they just pulled up to his shop, so we're about to roll up and check it out. Oh, give me a good rip. It is in sport, yeah. Start it back up, it burbles on start. Oh, oh. dude, all oh, the speakers back here too? I haven't even Woo. listened to any of that, so. Okay, I don't know, I think we're in sport. I think we're in sport mode. Oh, dude, this is so cool. You have like your limited edition, launch edition number. <laughs> hey, she gets around. This is so cool. All right, I gotta, okay, we're manual. Oh. Bro, that was a quick yeah, 95. Yes. Yeah. Dude, he's ripping right here. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Fucking Just go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you got to get out yeah, and yeah. film us a little celebratory. It does donies. Like Just smoking some tire. All right, I want to see it. got tire everywhere. That's amazing. Oh, <laughs> that was so sick. All right, good news. We got the valve cover, we've got the gaskets, and I also put silicone on the corners like you're supposed to. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the new red valve cover here. Look at it. Nice and red, it looks awesome. Wow, that is way cleaner than stock. So, basically all I have to do now is put on all of the bolts, clean it up a little bit, and it's gonna look brand new.
It looks absolutely amazing. So I think I've decided that I'm gonna keep the manifold cover off. What do you guys think? Should I keep it off or put it back on, maybe paint it a different color? I don't know, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. But the new red valve cover is in and it looks amazing. I'm absolutely in love. Things are coming along. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this car out into the sunlight so we can see what it looks like in the sunlight and get some pictures and stuff. It's gonna be cool. So, got some stuff done today. We are one step closer to getting the WX finished. One more day, but before we end today, I wanted to go over my new drop with you guys because I am so, so excited for this drop. We are bringing the Grim Reaper back. As you guys can see, I'm wearing a couple of the items right now. So, we have the new Grim Reaper dad hat with legends on the back, and then, of course, the new Garage Legends t-shirt as well with the Grim Reaper new design. I am so stoked to bring these products to you guys. We've been planning the Grim Reaper drop for a very, very long time now. All of this stuff is gonna go live on August 16th. So I'll, go, I'll show you guys the new Garage Legends banners. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever, dude. How sick is this? I was gonna put this in the garage, but I actually think I'm gonna put it in my office where I do all my editing and stuff. Oh man. I'm so stoked for you guys to get all of this stuff in. We have the t-shirt, the hat, we have this awesome windbreaker slash coach's jacket, whatever you wanna call it. This is what we got going on here. One of my favorite items that we're gonna be dropping on this drop, we have Garage Legends right here, along with the Grim Reaper on the back. Super, super awesome drop. Now, we do have some special edition items that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Starting off with the new black box that we're doing. So everything in here you can only get if you purchase the black box. So I'll go ahead and do a little unboxing for you guys. So this is what the box is gonna look like. It's super, super dope. We have the little Grim Peeker back there. And then Live Fast up top. So you're gonna go ahead and open the box. What you get inside the box is a special hat. We have a snapback with Garage Legends on the back. You get a dope lanyard. Two different air fresheners. We have new car and ocean scent. So whichever one you want. And then you get a black edition of the t-shirt. You only get all of this if you buy the entire box. So we have a black edition t-shirt. One of my favorite things that comes in the box, you guys get a flag. So this is a, uh, this isn't so much of the garage banner. This is more of like a Nibori flag. If you guys know what that is, different kind of material here. This is what you get in the box. So remember, you can only get this if you purchase the special edition Garage Legends black box. For my last and most favorite item coming with this drop, besides like accessories with banners and jet tags and stuff, I am so excited to announce that we are actually doing heavy weighted shift knobs. So this is actually uh, one of the samples that I received. I'm gonna put the weight on the screen. I need to take this home and actually weigh it, but I just got in the sample. It is going to be a burnt titanium heavy weighted shift knob. This for the drop is gonna be extremely, extremely limited. We only have 50 of these available. So if you want a shift knob, you need to be sure to set your, set your alarms for 10 a.m. on August 16th, Pacific time, if you wanna get a shift knob. Everyone comes in awesome pack package little box, a card with the number of shift knob that you got, and I'm gonna sign every single shift knob uh, limited edition card that sells. So we have 50 of these available. Fucking train. This train is ridiculous. So that is pretty much everything coming with the drop. Like I said, we do have accessories such as a Garage Legends banner, jet tags, and stickers. Actually, I'll show you the stickers. This is so awesome. This is my favorite. So I gotta, I gotta pick which car I wanna use this on, but if you guys can. See if it'll focus on it. If you guys can tell what that is, it's the Peeker Grim Reaper, the double bird. That's cool. We also have this style sticker as well. So everything is super, super sick. This is honestly, I say this every time, but it's so true. We keep one-upping ourselves every drop. This is by far my favorite drop that we have ever, ever done. I don't know. Oh my God. So I'm very, very excited to get all this out to you guys. I wanted to show you that real fast, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up in here. 
and uh, we're gonna head home. We are completely done. I'm so stoked on how it looks. Now it's not just so plain in the engine bay. When you pop the hood, it actually has a little bit of contrast in there. The red valve cover actually adds a lot to the car. Once the hood is popped, I'm very, very stoked. Just for reference here, here's what the stock one looked like. Stock red. So much better. This is gonna go into our parts storage and we're good to go. All right guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I'm super happy we're actually able to get the valve cover installed. I hope you guys enjoyed the little install. I know it wasn't super in depth, but it's a very, very easy mod. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.